Hey, what's going on, guys? I know it's been a little minute since I made a video, guys. I've been kind of going through some things, but guys, I am back. And guys, I'm back with Amethyst, the new mixtape by my girl, Tanache. Let's get into this review. Okay. I love every song. It's seven tracks. It's a mixtape, guys. And I'm just so glad that she has some more new music. Because that, that could mean that she might probably be almost... Maybe either working on a new album soon or who knows. But guys, for right now, I have this new mixtape, guys. Let's not get into one of my favorite albums and her first debut, Aquarius. Guys, let's not get into Aquarius, guys. Like I, Y'all know I love this CD with all my heart. I bought it. And guys, shout out to the K2 spot. I'm uh, 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 I'm going to do the return and, and shout him back out because he's the one who actually got me into this girl right here okay uh he's the reason i actually started listening to her like he's the reason i started like her mixtapes and guys i could not wait to, when this album came out last year i couldn't wait till it come out when i heard it i fell in love with it you guys know that bet is one of my favorite songs i speak highly of that song uh i play that song almost every day I play almost every song on here every day. Well, another one of my favorite songs on this album is Bated Breath. Guys, I just love Bated Breath. I love the video, by the way, which I didn't get a chance to do a review for. I um, one, Another one of my favorite songs on here will be Pretend. How many times? Feels Like Vegas. <clears throat> Far Side of the Moon. And guys, I just enjoy her music. Let's get into this new-ish from Tanache. So then we get dreams are real, guys. I I just love it. It's so Janet Jackson, like I like 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 the K two spot said, like 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 my boy Ken said. Okay, we know that she has a little bit of Aaliyah, a little bit of Janet Jackson, a little bit of Sade. She has a little bit of maybe a little bit of uh, a tad bit of Lauren Hill. <clears throat> And guys, her style is very old school. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. And I know it's been a little minute since I made a video, but I'm back. But anyway, let's 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 get to Dreams Are Real. It's just so beautiful, guys. I just love the track. Like it's just, it's just, it's it's, it's it gives me a Janet Jackson flow. The beat is real nice. It's so hip hop. It, it's it's her voice is just. So angelic and beautiful. I just love Tanasha. Then we get Just The Way I Like You Guys. This song was very different. Okay, I was kind of like a little bit mm, at first. But guys, when I heard it out, like I, the beat is just very different. It's, uh, it starts off real... I don't know. It's it's, it's very... I don't know. I, can't, I really can't describe it, but it's beautiful, guys. And it's very different. You never heard a beat like this before. I guess uh, it's produced by Dominic An Angelila. Angelila? Dominic Angel Angelila? I don't know how to pronounce that word. His last, or oh, he, he or she's last name. But um, I really like this, uh, guys. Just, just the way I like you. It's beautiful. It's something different about this. It's very... But her voice is just so damn beautiful. I just love her voice. And the beat is very different. You know, it kind of took a little, just maybe 10 minutes for me to grow on, for, me, for it to grow on me. But it, it's good. Then we have Looking For It. I love the way the piano started. It was just um, kind of sounded like a little like Michael Myers a little bit. Uh, and I was like, wait, is this going to be like a scary sounding type song? I was listening to it. I was like, hmm. But when I heard it, I actually loved the way it came on. It is just so beautiful. Also produced by Legacy. It uh, kind of gives me a little 90s flavor. It gives me a, a little bit of... Um, a little bit of... Uh, uh, um, 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 mm, mm. Somebody made a song that sounds so similar to this in the 90s, guys. I, I can't think of the person right now, but it just gives me, it's, it just has a familiar sound produced by Lexi, guys. I, I like the beat. Then we have something to feel. This, okay, uh, uh, I'm gonna tell you, this happens to be one of my favorites right now, and it's so short, but guys, it makes you want to play it over and over. Something to feel. It's just. It just, it, just, it just gives me a little breeze. It sounds like it probably would have been on her first album. And guys, it, it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Beck. 
a little bit. It kind of gives me a little bit, a little bit. But guys, I, 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 I just love this mixtape. Something so feel is just so sounds so sexy and soothing and just. Get you in the mood, kind of, you know. Next, then we got Wanderer, which is number five, and I like this. This is so different. It's this kind of blippy and old school sounding, and I like it. It gives me a little Janet Jackson feel, and I, I, I just enjoy that song. That song has a very nice hit beat to it. Then we have Worth It featuring my boy I Am Sue, guys, which I recently did a review on. I like it. I, 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 I thought she was kind of had a little rap. She kind of had a little rap flavor on there, which was kind of different. Because, you know, she does kind of rap a little bit on her song. She kind of sing raps a little bit. Kind of like Drake a little bit. And I really, I just really like this uh, work. That, uh, this is another one of my favorites. And then they even had a little saxophone uh, interlude at the end of it. And I can tell she did a little bit of, um, with the saxophone when she was singing with, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> when she went, mm. Sorry, when she was singing with the saxophone, it kind of reminded me of, of, uh, of uh, Aquarius. I think she was doing a little bit of Aquarius in that segment uh, or something like that. Then we have Wrong, which she got this from Cool in the Gang, the song uh, Summer, uh, Summer Madness, I think. I want to say Summer Madness. Yes, yeah, Summer Madness. Okay, I like how she remixed the song. You know, so many other people have remade the song. You know, Will Smith. Um, it was a couple of other people. But guys, I really like uh, Wrong. It was, it's just, it's just so, it's so, it's bringing real music back. And it's kind of jazzy. And uh, she just like really kind of gives me maybe a little bit of Janae, Janae Aiko on this one. Uh, it sound, kind of sounds like something Janae, Janae Aiko would have made. But guys, I just love it. Every song is a must. The production wise is it, it sounds almost like album quality a little bit. You know, you really can't tell whether it's a mixtape or not. But it is a mixtape and, and uh I love that it 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 it, it symbolizes a stone, guys, that's what it, that's what the amethyst is. It's a purple stone. It's the, the color is like a violet purple. And it actually sounds like it gives the, 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 the settings of the song and the tone of the song actually sounds like what it is. Guys, it sounds like purple. You know, it sounds kind of sexy, but yet dark at the same time. And I just, guys, I will be having maybe like four more videos after this, guys. I know I have not did my Empire review. I'm still, I'm still to do that one and I'm to do a other couple of things that I wanted to do that I didn't chance didn't get a chance to do guys I know <clears throat> you guys haven't heard from me for my whole week because it's been a little situation that I'm dealing with and I'm hoping I got I, that will hopefully get better but guys uh <laughs> just keep me in your prayers okay anyway this is forever Brandon TV